Okay, I found a number three pot. This says number three on it. It's about 10 inches by 10 inches. We'll fill it up with some potting mix. This is peat moss. You can see the perlite in it. The white specks are perlite to help hold the moisture on a dry day in the heat of the summer. There's uh, some composted steer manure in this. You can see these plants, these roots here on the bottom of the pineapple crown are just gorgeous. So we'll set him down in there about like that. leaves an inch and a half maybe just over an inch of space in the top of this plant planter and uh, that looks nice that's solid so after a while those roots will take hold in the potting mix and it will start sending new growth up out of the top and then we can clean up some of this dead stuff off the, off the bottom side can't wait to see that I don't see anything down in there yet but it will start to grow. It's hard to believe it takes two years to grow a pineapple. Oh, we're going to try though. That will be so fun to see if we can make it work. We could use this water to water it in. I also have some water here. That ought to do. It needs moisture. In this case, we'll just water it when it needs it, and then that way the, the roots will have air, and the, the uh, microorganisms in the soil will help keep things really healthy down in this, inside the pineapple roots. I've been to Hawaii. We've seen pineapple fields, but it's been so long I can't remember what they look like. The pineapples get really big. And of course the pineapple itself, just the fruit alone, will do this. And we don't even get a flower for a long time. It'll take a year or so for the blossom to even develop and the roots to develop. And before we get to that point, this will probably need to be transplanted again. This is only a, oh, a gallon and a half. It's not a very big pot. So we'll keep track of the progress of this pineapple.